Have you ever wondered about the lesser known facts and anecdotes behind the 1967 TV series, The High Chaparral? Perhaps you're reminiscing about the first time you watched this iconic Western drama. We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's delve into some captivating details about this classic show. A High Chaparral is a beloved series that captured the essence of the American West. Set in the 1870s, it followed the Cannon family's struggles and adventures as they carved out a life on the Arizona Territory. What you might not know is that the show was created by David Dordort, the same mastermind behind Bonanza. The series featured an ensemble cast, with notable performances from actors like Leif Erikson and Cameron Mitchell, who portrayed the patriarchs of two feuding families. Did you know that Linda Crystal, who played Victoria Montoya Cannon, was originally from Argentina and brought a unique cultural perspective to the show. The High Chaparral not only offered a gripping storyline but also tackled issues like racism and family dynamics, making it stand out from other Western dramas of its time. It ran for four seasons, leaving a lasting impact on television history. Do you have a cherished memory or a personal experience related to this TV series? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share your insights and let's keep the conversation going. The TV series The High Chaparral aired in 1967. One interesting fact about the show is that the assistant director for some episodes was the son of the legendary director Erich von Stroheim. The series ended in 1971, but you can still see the Cannon Ranch in 1973 in an episode of Gunsmoke, Matt's love story, with several recognizable shots of the Cannon House and Ranch. Chaparro refers to evergreen shrubland in California and the northern part of the Baja California Peninsula, Mexico. The name comes from the Spanish word Chaparro, which means evergreen oak shrubland. It's also a type of bush found in Central America and Venezuela belonging to the Malpighiesi family. This TV series is known for its Western setting and memorable characters, making it a classic in the genre. The TV series The High Chaparral from 1967 had some of its scenes filmed at Paramount Pictures Studios. This Western classic featured iconic moments captured within the studio's settings. The show's connection to Paramount added to its overall appeal. The series is also notable for its memorable characters and captivating western setting, making it a timeless gem in the genre. David Rose, known for his work on the iconic Bonanza series, adapted the theme song for The High Chaparral in 1967. This western classic not only featured memorable characters and captivating settings but also a theme song that originated from Rose's score for Bonanza. The connection between the two series adds an interesting layer to the history of The High Chaparral. With its roots in the music of another popular show, The High Chaparral remains a timeless gem in the genre. Roberto Contreras and Frank Silvera, who had roles in The High Chaparral, also made their mark in the Magnificent Seven film franchise. Contreras appeared in The Magnificent Seven as a villager, while Silvera portrayed La Barrow in Guns of the Magnificent Seven. These connections to a well-loved film series further enhance the legacy of The High Chaparral. In summary, The High Chaparral not only brought us a captivating western tale, but also a theme song with ties to Bonanza and actors with connections to The Magnificent Seven. It's a series that continues to hold its place in the western genre. The Vanished Star, the unsolved mystery of the High Chaparral's cast member disappearance from Hollywood's glittering stage. In the world of Hollywood and television, stars rise and fall, leaving their mark on the industry. However, some stars seem to vanish into thin air, leaving behind unsolved mysteries. One such enigma surrounds a cast member of the 1967 TV series The High Chaparral. While the High Chaparral is remembered for its western setting and memorable characters, one cast member's disappearance from the glittering stage of Hollywood remains a puzzle to this day. Despite the show's success, this actor seemed to have vanished from the limelight after the series ended in 1971. The reasons for their departure from Hollywood and their subsequent whereabouts remain shrouded in mystery. Perhaps it was a personal choice, a desire for a quieter life away from the spotlight. Or maybe there were other, more complex factors at play. 
Whatever the case, the vanished star of the High Chaparral has left a void in the story of this iconic TV series. Their departure is a question mark in the history of Hollywood, and fans of the show continue to wonder about their fate. While the High Chaparral endures as a classic in the Western genre, the mystery of this cast member's disappearance adds an intriguing layer to its history. It serves as a reminder that, in Hollywood, not all stories have a clear ending. Love in the Spotlight, the tragic toll of public relationships on the High Chaparral's cast member in Hollywood in the glitzy world of Hollywood. The line between on-screen romance and real-life relationships often blurs. Such was the case for a cast member of the 1967 TV series, The High Chaparral. While the show is renowned for its captivating western setting and memorable characters, it also became the backdrop for a love story that grabbed the attention of the media and the public. This cast member's on-screen chemistry with a fellow actor led to a passionate and highly publicized affair. A media circus surrounding their relationship became a double-edged sword. On one hand, it boosted the show's popularity, drawing in viewers eager to witness the sparks between the two. On the other hand, it took a toll on the cast member's personal life, as the constant scrutiny and speculation invaded their privacy. The affair's impact on the production was undeniable. It added a layer of tension behind the scenes as the cast and crew navigated the complexities of the situation. A love triangle, initially a gossip-fueled sensation, eventually began to affect the dynamics on set. This cast member's relationships, both on and off the screen, became a defining aspect of their Hollywood career. The tragic toll of public relationships in the unforgiving spotlight of Hollywood is a story as old as the industry itself. The pressure of maintaining a public image while dealing with private matters can be overwhelming. The cast members' journey through the highs and lows of fame, love, and heartbreak is a poignant reminder that, in Hollywood, not everything is as glamorous as it seems. The unseen struggles, the High Chaparral's cast member journey to overcome depression in the midst of fame in the glitzy world of Hollywood. Fame often comes with a price. Behind the scenes of the 1967 TV series The High Chaparral, one cast member grappled with a silent battle, depression. While the show is celebrated for its captivating western setting and memorable characters, it also witnessed a cast member's personal struggle to cope with the pressures of fame. Amid the glitz and glamour, this actor faced the isolation and loneliness that often plague celebrities. The constant scrutiny and the demands of stardom took a toll on their mental well-being. It's a story that sheds light on the unseen struggles that occur amidst the glare of fame. Despite the challenges, this cast member's journey to overcome depression is a testament to their resilience. They sought help and support, striving to balance their career with their mental health. The untold story of this cast member's battle with depression reminds us that in Hollywood, not everything is as glamorous as it seems. It's a poignant reminder of the real-life struggles that can exist behind the scenes of even the most iconic TV series. As we bid adieu to the timeless gem that is the 1967 TV series, The High Chaparral, we encourage you to embark on a journey down memory lane. The dusty trails of the Old West, the resolute Cannon family, and the rugged landscapes have etched an indelible mark on our hearts. Now, it's your turn to share your treasured moments, your thoughts, and your own connection with this iconic series. Perhaps you recall the stirring performances, the unforgettable dialogues, or the way it brought your family together in front of the screen. Whether it's the lessons learned from John Cannon's unwavering determination, or the camaraderie between brothers, we'd love to hear your fondest memories. In the realm of the High Chaparral, we find stories of resilience, loyalty, and the unyielding spirit of the American frontier. So, take a moment to reflect and then share your thoughts with us. Let the legacy of this classic series continue to thrive through the shared experiences of its fans. Thank you for your time and interest in celebrating the enduring legacy of the High Chaparral. Your participation keeps the spirit of the show alive. Until we meet again, keep those cherished memories close and let the Old West live on in your heart.